today's video, I'm going to go over really quickly selecting your model. And the reason I'm going to do this is because there's some kind of unique things about it. So if you want to select your model of what Nexus device you have, you can kind of come here and, and just hit change. And then you can come through and you can do it the manual way. So for example, let's say I have a Nexus 7 tablet and I have the 2013 edition Wi-Fi tablet. I would collect, click that. Then I'd come in here and I'd find the build number on my device. So to find the build number, you're going to go into your device settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, about, and, and that is the build number. So you'd want to find the build matching build number over here on the device. So let's just say it is the latest um, Lollipop build, which is 21P. And shabam, you would hit apply. And it would talk, tell you a little warning really quickly about what you need to um, have on your device. And then it actually also gives you this, which is really cool. Um, it will recommend downloading all of the latest files for the Nexus Root Toolkit you're going to need for that device and that build. So it gives you all of these things. It tells you what's there, what's not there, what needs to be updated, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let those things download. It shouldn't take too long for them to download. Here is the uh, process. So right there is that boot image. And it just checks it to make sure it's a good download. And then it's downloading the newest uh, Twerp recovery. And there you go. You have that also as well. And then it will reopen up the uh, toolkit. So there we go. And you just manually set up your toolkit for the Nexus 7 2013 edition Wi-Fi build Android 5.0 21P. Okay, that's the manual way of picking your model and type of device. The other thing you can do is you can come in here and you can pick your model. Let's This time let's change it to the uh, Nexus 6, which is what I actually have. But then instead of doing it that way, let's go ahead and just say, well here you can click custom ROM, which is actually what I have on here right now. This is a custom ROM. Or you can pick any build. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want to hit apply. Again, it's going to look for dependent files and then it's going to reset up the tool so that everything works with that specific device. All right, last thing you can do that's really, really cool is you can do the auto detect build. To do that, right now we're on Nexus 6. I'm going to do it with my Nexus 9. So unplug my Nexus 6, stick it to the side, plug in my Nexus 9. And we should be, let's see here, should be plugged in. Uh, open it up. And it should auto detect my device. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is taking into effect that you already have the drivers installed on your device to use the auto detect feature. So just be aware of that and make sure you have them already on the device. So from here, just hit auto detect device and build. And there you go. Pretty simple, right? So it sees that I have a Nexus 9 connected. It sees uh, the device name, Android version, and the build of 21R. And just to show you that that is the correct build, we'll go in here. I know it's sideways, but yep, 21R right there for build number. And there you go. From here, you can just hit apply. And again, it tells you how to turn on ADB debugging and so on and so forth and again downloads the latest dependency files which is just super nice it really makes using this tool seamless and you don't have to download anything else but the tool all files will come and they'll download when you need to use them that is the beauty of the Nexus Root Toolkit so there you go that is going to be covering setting up which device you're using and how to do it manual mode and automatic mode stay tuned for more videos on this device we will be having quite a few as I cover all the features in this amazing tool. There you go. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.